in order that you are accustomed to eat food only for 7 to 9 hours per day, you need a reduced time of eating gradually. Let's say you usually diet assumes breakfast at 8 morning and dinner and a meal uh, at 23 in the evening. That is, you eat 15 hours per day and you need 7, 8 or 9 hours. Don't jump sharply from uh, 15 to 8 or 7. You may not like this. Also, for reference, I immediately switched uh, and I immediately liked the sensations. Um, one, two days, it's 14 hours, three, four, this is for example 30, and then for for example seven, seven eight days, this is 11 hours, and after 12, 11, 12 days, this is 9 hours, and then little. Did you eat dinner or eat breakfast first later? If you reduce time of eating during the day, you will have solved this problem. You can move in both directions, both is everything and in the morning. It depends uh, on, on your individual shoulder, work, study or training. <laughs> I said training, I uh, hear training. <laughs> uh, my favorite regime is middle of the day. Uh, for example, I wake up at 7 o'clock, my first meal in this case in often at 10, 9 o'clock in the morning and the last meal at 5, 4, 5, 6. Um, if I... Um, if I were trying in the morning, morning or evening, then I would shift uh, meal uh, time to the beginning of end of day. If if you have uh, evening training, for example at 19, then shift meal so that you took the last meal in the evening, 20-21 in our example. In this case, your breakfast will move to lunch time. Let you be sobered by the fact that if you don't eat in the morning, fat burns very actively because of low blood sugar level. Will I lose muscle with such diet? This is oh, very popular, very very popular question. To clear my cases, uh, I will say that you can lose muscle. In the end, we're talking about losing weight, not about recruiting muscle mass. This is um, normal for such tasks. However, based on recruiting muscle mass experiments on myself and the world, I can conclude that didn't observe any significant losses in strength and muscles. Uh, quite uh, contrary.